Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about NPM registries in Nexus Repository Manager. NPM or Node Package Manager is a tool for managing the packages of JavaScript based applications like Node.js, React.js, etc. Here in the diagram, we have a client machine where we execute the NPM commands. So, when we execute a NPM command in the client machine, for example, npm install command so it will install a package in the client machine if the dependencies of the package are present in the local cache then it will use the package in the local cache if the packages are not present in the local cache they will be downloaded from npm public registry so every time if multiple clients run the npm commands in the client machines corresponding packages will be downloaded from the public registry so this is a time consuming process because every client will download corresponding packages from the external registry and also because of security implications in the organization the organizations won't allow the clients to download the packages directly from the public registry so to avoid these limitations we can use the private registry like nexus so in nexus repository manager we have three types of repositories these repositories can be used as npm registries so that the clients can directly use these repositories instead of the public registry the proxy repository which will proxy the npm packages directly from the public registry so the clients can use this proxy repository to download the packages so multiple developers in the organization they produce their own artifacts which can be shared with other developers so each of the client which produces corresponding packages they can be uploaded to the hosted repository in nexus so all the internal and third party artifacts can be published to the hosted repository so now the developers in the organization they may need packages from external registry or the developed packages within the internal registry so instead of downloading the packages from individual repositories we can group them to a group repository so that means the clients will use the group repository for downloading the artifacts and they will use the hosted repository for uploading the corresponding packages so now in this demo let us see how we can create the proxy repository hosted repository and group repository for npm packages let us start so now let us log into the nexus repository manager using the admin user so now we have logged in as admin user so we have to click on the cog wheel here here we have to select the repository section so by default we have the maven repositories and nuget repositories so to create the repositories for npm we have to select create repository so here we can see multiple types of repositories are supported by nexus in this we have to select npm so here we can see there are three types of repositories proxy hosted and group so now let us select proxy repository so let us provide all the details here so this should be the name of the repository so we have provided the name here so now we have to enter the url for the remote storage that means our public npm registry so let us copy this so for the remaining options we can use the default options and we can click on create repository so now the proxy repository is created similarly we can create other repositories click on create repository so this time we have to select the hosted repository and we have to provide the details of this repository so this registry will be used for storing the internally developed organization packages as well as the third party packages so in the deployment policy we can select multiple options so by default this will not allow the redeploy of the same package so for other options we can choose like allow redeploy read only etc so we can use the default option and we can use other default options and click on create repository so now let us create a group repository which will group both the proxy repository as well as hosted repository so now i am selecting group repository so here in the member repositories we have to choose the proxy and hosted repository so let me select hosted repository first and then proxy repository so this is the order how it will use when the clients download the packages so now let us click on the create repository so now we have created three repositories here so if we click on the group repository so this is the url which will be used by multiple clients 
for downloading the packages both from external public registry as well as internal hosted repository and this hosted repository will be used for storing the internally developed as well as third party artifacts and proxy repository is a part of group repository so this is about creation of repositories of npm packages in nexus repository manager so in the next video we would see how to download the npm packages from the npm group repository in nexus repository manager i hope this video helps thanks a lot for watching